Hello and welcome to the CS194-26 final project made by myself, Ollie O'Donnell, and Zach Zelesnik. Um, our project in a nutshell is an automatic supercut generator. Supercuts are videos uh, where you take a very long video or movie or film clip and you cut it down to all the times when a character said a particular thing. Um, there's a very funny one out now, which is every time Donald Trump is at the word China. So without further ado, let's get into the program and what its features actually are. So it takes as input uh, a video in the format of .mp4 and a corresponding subtitle, SRT file. Um, so let's go straight to phrase slicing. Um, so let's start off with um, getting the word America as it was said during this 13 minute address. So the natural next step from here is to cut down from the entire phrase in context down to just that one word. Um, and so for any word, uh, we've chosen America because it was said a lot in the speech, um, you can see all the times and all the different ways that that word was said. Uh, so we're going to generate this and you can see the result. Against America and to America, between America and Islam, America will prevail. Bless the United States of America. So the next step is to make a fake speech. You know, I, I think of it as similar to those letters uh, that people make from magazine clippings. It's not convincing, but you know, it's fun. It's interesting to see the different words all put together into a sentence that uh, that person may never have said. So let's try the sentence, American ideals are stronger than violence. Obama never said that in this video, but using our program, it sort of works. Ideals, as things that are all too common, grew strong in the security of the implicated acts of violence. We think our program has a lot of potential to help people who work not only in the entertainment industry, but really any, any industry that requires scrubbing very long uh, video files and getting the relevant clips. We also think the code has a lot of potential for future improvement. Because the code is written in Python, it would be relatively easy to implement the code on a website in the form of a web application. That way you could take videos straight from YouTube, take the subtitle file, and have this uh, available to people anywhere in the world. Also, the video is currently aligned based on the subtitle files that are imported. If the subtitle files are inaccurate, then so will our video. This could be corrected with uh, voice recognition technology. Overall, it's been an excellent experience writing this code, and we hope that it can have a positive impact.